Oh shit. So we got to get this removed. Got to get this off the lift. Hey, you girls are going to no. put the parts on the car. Whoa, who is that? A baby. So we got to move this. right there look like a damn used car lot out here <laughs> you said it looks like a used car lot what are you eating beef jerky hell yeah man all right i'm gonna need two hands you push that in that's the lock push it all the way push it all the way in the moment of truth <laughs> let's see if she starts it's been a while So this week I'm probably gonna order the lower control arms and the new tires for the car. I've just been like putting it off. I've had so much stuff going on, but uh, Les is gonna move this uh, ricer into the garage. So what are we doing? We're doing an oil change. Oil change. Today we're doing vertical links, alignment bushings, support bushings. And I brought my own. You brought your... These are like brand new tools. You probably never even used them. No, I use them all the time. You use them? So he uses these all the time. Yeah. They're still in the like package, man. <laughs> That's how it is, man. That's how it is? I always keep shit in the package. Oh my goodness. Well, we, we probably don't want to mess up your tools, so we'll probably leave them in the package since mine have already got battle scars on them. So what are we doing? Open box? You haven't yeah. even opened these yet. What we're going to do today, so these are vertical links. Now, what would this help you with? Probably nothing. Probably no, nothing? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Actually, all of these components are supposed to help with the rear end wheel hop because of the new cars with the IRS system. These are alignment bushings. So all right. We're gonna put these in, but then these are support bushings here. We're gonna put these in as well. All right. So that's what we're mainly focused on today. So let's start off by throwing the instructions in the trash. Oh, we always got to do that. And these are all Steeda? All Steeda parts. This man, that's all he uses. Suspension that's parts, everything. Steeda. Steeda. Got to go with Steeda parts. So let's get on it. Let's get on it. We're gonna put the car on the lift. We're gonna do an oil change. What kind of oil do you use? Motorcraft. It's the same stuff I use from Ford. We gonna pop the hood. Dude, this thing's missing a turbo. It's missing two turb, two. Two turbos? Yeah. Are you gonna go twins? Eventually, that's yeah. the plan. That's how I'm spending money on cosmetic part. But it looks good, it looks good, but it's slow. Hey, it gets me where I need to go. Yeah, all right. So right now, Les is gonna change his oil and I'll start unbolting the rear suspension. All right, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret that I use. So anybody that has an S550 Mustang, they know changing your oil filter right here makes a freaking mess, right? And you get oil everywhere. So I'm gonna give you guys an inexpensive way to make this a clean job. And then if anybody asks you, you say you got that from JD Joyride TV. But this is what you need to do. You need to go on down to your neighborhood friendly Walmart. You need to go in the kitchen aisle. It's an automotive section for women, just in case you're wondering. But you go down there to the kitchen aisle, 
you pick up some of these like they're called flexible cutting mats. They're like basically little cutting boards that you cut on. But we're not gonna cut anything. Pull it out. I'm gonna show you guys what to do with this. Here, hold this. So you get up there like that. Now you got yourself a homemade funnel. There you go. I learned you something today. Oh shit, now I just busted my head on your damn tire. All right. You guys about to see this thing work. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Now we're gonna pull it down. Look at that. No mess whatsoever. Everything up in here is still all clean. The only mess was on my pecker beaters and this piece of plastic. That's it. Like I said, it's easy to clean it off. And then you can cut it, you can shake it, you can do all kinds of stuff. So we are actually gonna make a Harbor Freight run. I need more tools, so that's what we're doing. And I got my Harbor Freight gift card. See, one of my favorite things about working on cars is when there's a tool that you don't have, it's an excuse to buy it. And then that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're gonna go buy a new tool. So we're going to Harbor Freight. I know a lot of people talk a lot of shit on Harbor Freight, but they're cheap and just for like simple shit. I wouldn't buy any power tools, but you guys get the point something that's not mechanical we are gonna actually get it's a uh, it's a jack stand designed for under a lift on a car that's that wheel hop son oh, yeah. Woo! you ain't ready for that this handicap thing down <laughs> just for the record less is the handicap one not me exactly. he's the handicap it actually corners pretty good I would never think about taking a corner like that in the GT500 oh no you'd be all over yeah like this corner up here is like really really sharp So after we do the Harbor Freight run, we are actually gonna go home and grill out on the grill. We're gonna cook up some Too Fat Butcher steaks. Hell yeah. It's a local butcher around here. They've probably got one of the best steaks in town. They don't really cook them, we cook them. I think we're what make them good. Exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. And then after we do that, we will get back to working on the Mustang. So it'll probably be dark, but that's, that's the glory of having a garage with nice lighting. It doesn't matter. You can always come back to it later. We'll check back in once we get to Harbor Freight. Clean the hood, attendant. Showing less the Volvo this. video. Sorry. If you guys haven't seen it, you need to check it out. Pretty good video. The car actually caught on fire. So check that out. This shit is crazy, man. This is crazy. It's actually pretty good video. That's it. Damn, that's sick, dude. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's 59 bucks. Oh, but that's if you're a member. So this is what we came here for. Right here. This this is the box that I want right there. That box. Hell yeah. You live in the garage? Hey, how's it going? This and this. Is or does this work? Is this for this weekend here or no? No, that's for Easter For next weekend. weekend. Oh. Oh, next weekend. Yeah. So you return it and then rebuy it yeah, next it weekend. Yeah, it off $130. Off in the greenhouse. It would take off 130? Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the wrong thing. That's the wrong one because it said it was 79. Oh, because that's But that's, that's a greenhouse. We don't want a damn That's coming out for $649. This is actually in the wrong slot. Oh, so we got the wrong yeah, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 101, here's your receipt. You don't want the penny? No, you can have that. That's your oh. tip. Thank you. Awesome. Is it gonna fit? Successful. Oh, you got a miss? All right, cool, man, thanks. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler, JD. We're gonna go home and eat because I'm starving 
and starving he's starving and then we'll get back to I guess working on the car so one to put in the video too you know because this isn't really like an install video we're just like kind of hanging out in the garage so if you guys are actually really wanting to see how to install these parts I'll put a link in the description of Bill with uh, CJ Pony parts because he actually covered a really good detailed video on this here in the garage so we got the tripod jack that's not what it's really called but that's what I'm calling it probably took us about probably like seven hours to get that thing put together and uh, it's got a lot of nuts and bolts anyways what did she say working on the car all night yeah. no we actually stopped and took a break to eat and cook out on the grill and do all that fun stuff <laughs> tell the truth we don't know what the hell we're doing <laughs> no <laughs> here's some of the parts we're putting on these are basically just spacers that IRS struggle is real. Hell yeah, man. Shit. Also guys, let me know what you guys think of like these type of videos. I'm just trying this out just for more content for the channel. You know, just whenever friends come over to the house and just install random ass parts, should I video it or should I just leave it alone and just keep, you know, up with just the other weekly videos or whatever? But just let me know what you guys think. It's just something else that I'm trying, you know, like, I don't know. You guys get the point. So now we can pick out the two big bolts and the two little bolts in the front. Yeah. So basically we're taking these two bolts out and then this one. And then that bushing is actually going to be going up in there. And then there's going to be the spacers on the top and bottom that... That's what we're gonna do. So hopefully after all this stuff is installed and done, it'll get rid of all that wheel hop that you guys saw in the Joyride video that the girls took this car out in, their little Starbucks mission. So it should stiffen up the suspension and get rid of that. I'll throw in that clip in case you guys didn't see that. Are we gonna do another burnout? No, not on the new tires. I don't care. You it's don't care? No, no, we're not gonna do it tonight. Tomorrow, you're actually spending the night. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Yeah. But, it's uh, half my house, you know this. It's half your house? <laughs> yeah. yeah, me and Les, we go way, way back before freaking I even, cars. Before we even had our cars. Yeah. yeah, he knew me back in the day before I even had the GT500 and before you even had this, so. Let's get this shit put in. Mm, that thing's on there. Damn. See, what I could do is edit all that first half out and. See, I could have edited that first half out and made it look like it was that simple, but it's really not. Alignment bushings and all that stuff I already done. So now we're gonna move on over to installing these vertical links. I guess we're gonna put these right here. I think that's where they go. I don't know. I'll have to uh, do some Googles and find out. If they don't go there, they're probably hood props. So here's a comparison if you guys wanna see between the stock. These are the aftermarket. That's a big difference. And they're gonna go right up here and it should help with all the nasty wheel hop. Cause, you know, we be doing burnouts. Oh shit, dude, <laughs> for my fucking head, dude. See, when I was in school, I wouldn't have had that problem because I wore a helmet. But now, <laughs> now that I'm an adult, I don't have to wear my helmet anymore, I fucking hit my head on everything. So we got everything installed, it's all on the car, so basically now all we got left to do is lower it down, put the wheels and everything on it, and 
button everything back up and it'll be back on the road. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. But let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.